this um, author now add here. When I want to create the post, every time when we um, save the object in the database, I want to have a, my current default system timestamp um, in my database value. So then I should have to use auto now add. So this auto now add equal to true, which is always true. Um, is a right um, option for creation date column. What does it mean is, let's, let's take a look. So if I add auto now equal to true, which means we are um, explicitly saying to the uh, Django, hey, every time when you create an object, then by default, send the system timestamp value for the given column. What does it mean is, let's take a look um, in action, right? So I save the model. So I have to run my make migration. Uh, make migrations blog. So it's alter the field and run the migrate block. Sorry, it's not blow, blog. <clears throat> now, if I run my server, also take a look on my um, database. What are you seeing? It's updated the current timestamp value for a given column creation date. Also, if I um, go and create the post, I don't see creation date. The reason is it is a non-editable column by default if you um, have auto no add um, as a keyword in your model field. So you can you can overwrite that option admin.py field um, so that script file, but we're not something um, we're not covered in this video. But as you see, right? You um, when you create a new block, something called block 10 and try to save and go back to your block post table and see and every time when you created that file or when you created that post, it automatically updating your current timestamp value. It is not necessary to pass the time value from the admin post. That is something I want, right? Basically, I don't want to pass um, something is auto timestamp value. Uh, I don't want to pass manually from the front end. That is the key requirement for me to do that, right? So something we achieved that. Then what does it mean of having auto now? Let's try to add auto now to true. If we go back, my model, my server page here, huh, I'm getting error. You cannot have mutually exclusive column. That is what they meant in um, here also. Options are mutually exclusive. So you cannot have both the concept or both the keyword uh, method or both arguments in a given field. Okay. Then where this auto now will be helpful. It will be helpful when you want to update something. For example, I created a post. Later point of time, I want to update the same post, but I want to take a look or I want to see, hey, how many posts has been recently updated or when this post has been recently changed, right? Creation did something different when this post has been actually created. But I want to know when this post has been changed recently, right? That is called where the latest timestamp um, concept will come, right? You you guys many times if you um, if you know about the um, SQL database concept, you might aware about uh, creation date and last update date. 
the creation date is actually the record has been created first time and last update date the same record has been changed at at what time right at uh, recently at what time that is called about last update so what i want to do is i want to have a column name called timestamp so you have to be very careful when you're dealing with a, a column name also because sometimes it will be uh, more confused right because timestamp timestamp also is a keyword in mysql database so i don't want to do that rather i want to go with last timestamp equal to models date time field this time i want to go with auto now equal to true let's take a look um here i want to run my migration block right make migration because i change my block cool if i run my migrate and see what what is in the table hmm even after migration or even after i added the auto now equal to true on my new column it's created all the st data with the current timestamp then what is the difference between these two it has a times it has the uh, difference guys let me show you uh, the difference if you um, take a look on the admin portal you will see the difference okay i'm going to create a new post call let's say block or new title or new block this is my um new post if i save this blog and if i um go to my database server what i'm seeing new block true and both creation date and timestamp values pretty same then what 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 is the difference actually of having auto now add the auto now for two different column yes there is a difference the same blog post what i mentioned was initially if there is if if i want to know about when this post has been modified recently right so i want to change this post name to blog update new blog update i did some changes on my blog in my case i changed the blog title if i click save now if i go back to the database and execute now what you're seeing my creation date didn't change but if you see my last timestamp value column has been changed to the current timestamp this is the difference guys about of using auto now add versus auto now itself when i use auto now add that is the first time object creation time for an column when i choose auto now it is every time when object has been saved this nothing but model dot save right so um this will call when model dot create um if you deal with the views right then you might understand what i um trying to say right model when you create the new block a new post or new object for a given model then this create statement will call in django then django will use this auto now and create the um, it will update the value in the backend database but when you modify something or update something it will not use create right it will rather it will use save or model update so when you want to do the model update then auto now right that auto now will update that value of the timestamp for the given column that's what we are seeing here right um if you take um uh, look on let me 
let me truncate all this record truncate table um, I don't see any value now right um, if I refresh my post I don't see any object here let me create a new post blog one save and if execute what is you're seeing block has been created on this date it's a new block right it's a new block has been created and and um, it has been uh, the same date because there's no update has been uh, changes on the same field right so that's the reason we are seeing get right let's try to modify this post now we are trying to modify the post with some new changes let's take a look um, come on come on what is happening okay now i want to change the title of my blog my, my post if i click save go back to the database run the server table what you're seeing it updated at 20 20 i mean 8 8 o'clock 20 minutes right that's all about the timestamp so auto now add which will not call when you do the update or when you do the model save auto now add will call when the object itself create first time but auto now will call every time when the object will save let's take a look i didn't change um i didn't change anything on my post itself but if i want to save again what is my time 8 21 pm if i save this is my existing record if i execute now what is what you're seeing 8 21 every time irrespective of the post has been uh, object has been uh, modified or not but by default your auto now column field itself will update in backend that is all about auto now versus auto um, now add difference guys i hope you guys will be understand about this stuff if you're not uh, please put in the comment section i will try to answer as soon as possible we'll Maybe next video, we'll discuss about the other uh, little bit areas about the data type, field, uh, field type, and we'll talk about the mapping association of foreign key, um, um, the other one-to-one -one field, a minute-to-minute field concept. We'll see you next video, guys. Bye.